I'm fond of saying that we are all mobile devices. In many ways, when we talk about mobile computing, what we're talking about, whether it's wearable computing or augmented reality or apps on a smartphone or whatever, we're talking about a computing environment that is now even more like our own experience as people with brains moving through a physical landscape. So mobile computing, in a way, is getting back to basics. We move around as human beings, and now we have a computing environment that can move with us. I can have my textbook, I can have my notes, I can have videos, I can have my learning management system with me anytime as a student, as an instructor, so I can learn anywhere. If I have five minutes, I can interact with content. If I have 10 minutes, maybe I can work on my homework. Um, I do micro lectures for my class, these eight minute lectures uh, that sort of give you the best and the brightest of what we talked about in that three hour standard lecture. Uh, and I've heard from students that they're listening to them at the gym. It's using the devices not in class, but taking them outside the class having the students work on projects together or independently in the field. The institutional level, of course, there's a lot of people racing right now just to make sure that the content fits onto a mobile device. But the real challenge is going to come, and the real opportunity comes when you start sort of looking the other direction at what's coming into the pipeline from these mobile devices, not what you can send to them, but how can you enable students to do new things and collaborate in new ways through these mobile devices. Pedagogy is still the driver, and we haven't really had that kind of paradigm shift yet. And for me, I think that comes from this notion of vulnerability in the classroom, and I mean vulnerability from a place of strength, that we have to help faculty get comfortable in their teaching self in order to do that with their learners, with all these devices. And until we do that, I don't, I don't see what will lead to their rethinking of their praxis in the classroom. If we're able to embrace that challenge, we're going to see a model of education in which learning is 24-7. Every opportunity to encounter something new is an opportunity to learn. And we're going to need to build an integrative platform in our schools so that students coming in will understand that the lives they live as citizens, the lives they live as human beings, are able to be integrated with what they learn in a formal setting.